All right guys, today we're out here testing some of my reloads with the Marlin 336. Now this particular Marlin is in 35 Remington. So I'll pull out what we're gonna be testing today. As you can see here, I got three different cartridges. This is Hornady Levolution. This is one of my reloads using the Hornady FTX. And this is a Spear 220. So these two are 220s, or sorry, this is 220 and these two are 200. So we're gonna start with the Levolution round and we're just gonna shoot it at a gallon water bottle and see what it looks like. Gets rid of it nicely. So we'll set up another bottle out there and uh, we'll see how my reloads fare against the Levolution. Alright guys, this is going to be the Spear 220 grain bullet in 35 Remington. The Chrono said that these come out right at 2,000 feet per second. This is compared to the first one, which was Hornady Levolution. Nice. Alright guys, here's our last round for the day. This is my personal reload. It's a Hornady FTX 35 caliber bullet, 200 grain with on about 2,000 feet per second. IMR 48.95 versus the water jet. Pretty cool. Pretty nice caliber. Here with our Marlin 336 that we've been testing with the Skinner wing sights. We're at just about 100 yards, maybe just shy with our 35 Remington reloads. Let's see how well it does. I'm gonna be shooting a blue steel target. yards it's pretty much dead on let's scoot back a little further and see what it does all right guys here we are with the marlin again just shy of 200 yards these are my reloads it shoots the hornady ftx very similar to the levolution lever revolution rounds and we're gonna see how much drop we get at this distance at 100 yards these skinner sights are dead on so let's see what happens out here At 200 yards, the difference between the point of aim is from aiming at the body of that still target to aiming at the head. So hardly any perceived drop using the Skinner peep sights at 200 yards. All right guys, I just wanted to give you a close up look at that Skinner rear peep sight. See if we can get a good look there. I love this thing, gives you a nice peep matches the look of the rifle, blued to match the rifle, and uh, you don't have to replace your front sight there. You're looking at the factory front sight, and at 100 yards, 
shoots dead on. Thank you, Skinner. A plus. Alright, for you demented ones who have stuck with me to the end of the video, you guys get to hear what my thoughts are so far and what we got in store for the future. So, my initial thoughts after spending a full day of shooting this Marlin 336 and 35 Remington is I absolutely love it. I, I love the rifle. I love how, first off, how slender it is. I don't know if you guys see how well it just fits in hand. It's just a slender, light rifle. I love those Skinner wing sights. Try not to whack too many things while I'm here. But uh, I just, I love the way it carries. I love the way it feels. And I was really surprised throughout the testing that I've done so far on the accuracy of this thing. I mean, this is a lever gun, so I wasn't expecting stellar accuracy, but here are a few of my targets from when I went to sight in the Skinner sight, which was insanely easy. Uh, let's do this here, show you kind of how this went. The way these things were sitting on the target is this was the top target and this was the bottom target, stapled right below it, and I started with shooting the bottom target. So these were my first two rounds, and then I adjusted, and these are my next two, and then I adjusted the sight once more, and this was that next shot, and then I put those two on paper after adjusting uh, one more time. So as you can see, and this is just some 22 from other Joker at the range, but uh, as you can see, it didn't take anything to get that Skinner sight you know, brought from up here all the way down into that group, just a couple of rounds. And as you can see, not a bad group at all, just over two inches right there. And then my next group, get this out of the way, opened up a little bit, probably two and a half inches. This is at 50 yards. And again, this is with the Hornady uh, Lever Evolution rounds, uh, and they kick. They're pretty stout. If I bring up my... Uh, my phone here real quick I wrote down what the average velocity was um, my average velocity for the lever revolution rounds is 2295 which is actually greater than what the box states the box says 2225 uh, so how often does that happen you get a you get a box of ammunition and it shoots better than advertised um, not very often but these these Hornady rounds they do kick and uh, here was the final group for that side in period. Check that out. That is just barely over an inch group. Really, really respectable accuracy. I'll uh, show you some of the bullets. Here's some of that Hornady that we were discussing. My camera will focus. You can see that FTX plastic point on there. Uh, that is totally safe to shoot in a tubular magazine. And then here is the spear that I shot in the video. Also, try and get the camera to focus on this and not what's down there. So as you can see, pretty pretty awesome looking bullet. I really like the 35 Remington. So my impressions of it is uh, I'm really shocked that it's not a more popular caliber. I mean, my reloads, uh, the spear, and the FTXs that I loaded, we're going at about 2,000 feet per second, and that's because this is the first time that I've started to reload for it. So I started with mild loads, uh, IMR4895, and they started out at 2,000 feet per second. So um, the max load should be every bit as quick as the, uh, the, uh, the Hornady. And the Hornady, like I said, was right there almost at 2,300 feet per second. Some of them actually did go over 2,300 feet per second. So. I don't see any problem be able, being able to match uh, Hornady velocity, and my accuracy should get even better because um, you know these are at almost like 98% case capacity. So my max load should be right up there at the base of the bullet, not quite a compressed load, but right up at the base of the bullet, and that should yield excellent accuracy. And uh, like I said, I'm just surprised that this isn't a more popular caliber. To me, it's a pretty badass little round. I mean, you're talking about a 200 or a 220 grain bullet at 2300 feet per second. Um, that carries a lot of energy with it, a lot more than 30-30. Um, you could really see it when it was hitting those water jugs. 
that we were testing in our video. Is it a, uh, a super long range caliber? No, but uh, you're shooting it out of a lever gun and I don't know about you guys, but to me, lever guns aren't typically viewed as long range rifles. Uh, they're short carbine type rifles for hunting in the bush, hunting in the Texas scrub. And that's exactly, I think, what this rifle is perfect for. Um, and I think actually it would probably do fairly good up in the mountains, uh, hunting the thicker forests and whatnot, where, you know, there aren't really any shots beyond 150, 200 yards. Most of them are going to be up close. I think this bullet would do an excellent job. It's a, it's a nice little thumper. We'll put it that way. And, uh, I foresee me doing a lot of future, uh, reviews on it. A couple things that come to mind already are, I would like to line up a row of water jugs and see how many this will pass through and uh, take a look at the expansion and whatnot of the different bullets, the Spear and the Hornady there, see what they do. I would also like to shoot those uh, one gallon jugs at 100 and 200 yards and see if they react as violently at those distances as they did, um, you know, right up close. So I got some interesting tests uh, coming up. That's a real sweet rifle, real fun to shoot. I uh, appreciate you guys sticking with me, and uh, that's pretty much it. If you got any suggestions for something that you'd like to see in future videos, or uh, if you'd like me to do something with this Marlin, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, also, I'm on Facebook and Instagram, but more exclusively on Instagram these days. Uh, it's just much easier, guys, for me to upload to Instagram. I can do it on the go. And the user interface is just much, much better. So if you want to stay up to date and see some really cool pictures like you're going to see at the end of this video, uh, go ahead and go over to my Instagram page, Murphy's Muskets, and uh, subscribe to it. And that's pretty much it. And I'll catch you guys later.